I am so proud and at this time happy to say happy birthday to the Chapel Hill Transit System, one of my proudest and most important achievements as mayor of Chapel Hill. When I promised that we would have a transit system in Chapel Hill, I frankly didn't know how we would make it happen. I appointed a group uh, headed by Terry Lathrop. We decided that we should have a test transit system. I happened to be friends with the mayor of Atlanta at that time, Sam Massell. So I called Sam and said, do you have some buses we can buy? We bought five buses. Unfortunately, while those buses were being driven back to Chapel Hill, they all broke down. And we had to repair those buses on the road. We finally got the buses to Chapel Hill. We got them running and we had the transit system in place. The, the Board of Aldermen appropriated $14,000 to run the system and we got permission from the legislature to use tax dollars to initiate the transit system and it was on the ballot. Uh, the university was going to put in a quarter of a million dollars. A week before the vote, the money ran out and we had to shut down the system. Well, we had a combined vote and the vote failed in both Chapel Hill and Carborough. I was encouraged to forget the transit system, but I would not be persuaded to walk away. We put it back on the ballot for Chapel Hill and it passed for Chapel Hill, but Carborough refused to participate. We were able to cut the ribbon in 1974 and that's when the first buses were running. I am so impressed with what the town has done in terms of not only building up the system, but certainly making it the kind of important entity in this community. And the proudest moments that I have is when I go to a basketball game or a football game and see the buses carrying throngs of people from their cars to the stadium and have often had people say, I don't know what we'd do without the transit system. Not in my wildest dream as a kid growing up sitting on the back of the bus in Atlanta that I thought I'd have a little hand in helping to develop a system. But it was my idea. But ideas are cheap. But it's been the staff and the dedicated administrators and leaders in the town of Chapel Hill that has made this happen. And I'm indeed grateful for all they've done to make it sustain itself.